Welcome to Gamble with Brandel edition 2. Today we have a 32 year old woman who is admitted to the ED after a motor vehicle collision. She has sustained a laceration of her left arm. The physician cleans the wound and prepares it for surgery. Bupivacaine is administered. Which of the following adverse effects would you could she experience? So this question asks about adverse effects of local anesthetics. So we can here see clearly that's a cane, so a local anesthetic. So what type of adverse effects do local anesthetics have? So we can have all kinds of CNS effects. Things like lightheadedness or some tingling, some nervousness, some restlessness up to seizures, but also we should not forget we can also have cardiovascular effects. And particularly we're going to get cardiovascular depression. Why? Because local anesthetics are blocking voltage-gated sodium channels. And remember, the canes, the local anesthetics, are class 1b antiarrhythmics. Our example is lidocaine. So if you block voltage gate in sodium channels, we're going to get cardiovascular depression, so our blood pressure is going to go down, our heart rate is going to go down. So cardiovascular depression is certainly something we should think about. What else could come up with local anesthetics? Well, we should definitely think about hypersensitivity reactions. And here we particularly think about ester local anesthetics because they are metabolized by esterases to paraminobenzoic acid, PABA, and a lot of patients are allergic to this component. Now for bupivacaine, we have this is an um, amide local anesthetic. So what are our options? Yellowing of the skin, some liver toxicity, bradycardia. That kind of sounds good if you're thinking about cardiovascular depression, heart rate going down, so that's definitely something we should keep in mind. Bronchoconstriction, no direct effect on the lungs, also nothing on the eye. So bradycardia here would be the correct answer.